uh, let's see. Oh, so what happened was at the Corcoran Museum in Washington was going to do a show called Black Folk Art in America, 1930 to 1980. They asked me to do sort of a public service announcement for them because I was already in film. And um, I stopped, and the day I got there, they were unloading Bill, Bill Trailer's work um, that they were going to also put in that show. And I saw it for the first time, and just it, 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 I was gobsmacked, and um, I just fell in love with it. So it was almost like a faded encounter with Bill Trailer. Yes. So as a documentary <laughs> filmmaker, this is your second feature-length film. Right. It's Bill Trailer chasing ghosts. Right. So he has such a fascinating story. Right. And tell us, you like, who hear... was Bill Trailer? Who was this guy? <laughs> Never heard of him till now. So he was born in 1853. He lived in slavery until the Emancipation Proclamation, and then um, his family were sharecroppers, and he stayed on the plantation after emancipation for. Uh, almost 40 years hmm. until the people he knew at the plantation started to die off and the children of those people were a little more difficult to work with so he he ended up leaving the farm and going to Montgomery where he worked for a few years until he was disabled and ended up homeless. So he ends up homeless and doesn't start painting until he's in his 80s? Yeah, 1939 so you, you wow. do the math and the only he only did it for a short amount of time, three or four years. But he was prolific in that yes. as well. When you think about it, if he did 1,000 to 1,500 drawings, he maybe was doing three a day or something. And what did and he use? So he's homeless. What's, what's, what is his medium? Uh, so everything was done on found objects. Baby Ruth cartons, um, other candy bars thrown out from the drugstore or posters that he found lying around, or like the equivalent of a shirt cardboard. But you know, it's like all of a sudden he found this creative spirit at the age of 80, and so, so it's like he documents his life through his works. It's like it was all stored up in there and it just came out. Exactly, and um, I'm a, I'm, I love origin stories, and mm -hmm. so I often think about what that moment was like, that I call it a transcendent moment, mm -hmm. but that moment where it clicked in his head that all his memories and, and thoughts from that period, um, you know, that somehow he could draw on those to, to express himself. And it's interesting because if you listen, if you kind of analyze the words of, of Leslie's title of the show, Between Worlds, he really was caught between this rural world and this urban world that he ended up living in. And remember how much United, what I love about, what I loved about the story was I could show the art and tell this historical, give this historical narrative, narrative and account, um, which mo most of us don't know very much about. We learn about the Civil War, Reconstruction. We don't even hear very much about Jim Crow because no one really understood what Jim Crow was. And then we hear about the, you know, the, the Freedom Riders. So uh, it's a chance to kind of fill in all these blanks of things that may have been in his, pur what I consider his purview, purview yeah. but not necessarily, um, you know, they didn't necessarily all happen to him, but, you know, there's a good chance that he was somewhat aware oh, of Oh, yeah, an observer. Of yeah. It. He sounded like a really keen observer yes. of his world. So what are you hoping people take from this documentary film, Bill Trailer Chasing Ghosts? What, what, do you, what do you, as the filmmaker, mm -hmm. when people see it and they walk away, what do you hope they come away with? You know, here's somebody who left a footprint about his accomplishments and that, you know, and, and, and that's something that we should all be aspiring to is to leave a footprint in the sands of time, as, as uh, Longfellow said. And um, so, so that's a big part of it. And then this whole idea of creation, you know, being creative and, and expressing yourself and not being afraid to, you know, to, uh, no matter what you think your talents are, to kind of express yourself in a creative way. I so, love that. Jeffrey yeah. Wolf, documentary <laughs> filmmaker. The film is called Bill Trailer Chasing, Chasing Ghosts. Ghosts. For sure. Okay, now yeah. we always do this at the end of okay. this. Um, if you could have coffee with anyone, living right. or dead, mm -hmm. don't think too hard, who would it be? I would actually say Muhammad Ali. Oh, yeah? Well, you're in the right state. I know. For I know. sure. Well, because um, I, I like sports, and uh, but I also like people who speak their mind, and I feel that... Uh, that he would actually be an interesting person to sit down with. Appreciate it, love it. Cheers. Thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs>